much value the least expensive ThinkPad from the Lenovo offer. Stick around to find out as we give you a quick tour of the Lenovo ThinkPad E15 Gen 4. ThinkPads usually all look the same in terms of design, and the E15 keeps the trend going. We see a black exterior with simple shapes and minimal branding. The metal lid and plastic chassis aren't the most durable as they show some flexing, but that shouldn't discourage you from considering the laptop. The portability could be improved, but still you get a 15.6-inch device with a weight of 1.7 kg and a profile of 19 mm. Lenovo keyboards never disappoint, and here the E15 provides a unit with long key travel, clicky feedback and a backlight. We also see a red track point, which is accompanied by three physical buttons above the touchpad. Speaking of it, the pad is a tad small, and its clicks aren't as tactile as we would like. However, the surface is pretty good, using the milder cover that we know and love. The port selection is pretty weak for an office device. With a single Thunderbolt 4 port, a USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 1 port, an archaic USB 2.0 port, HDMI and LAN connectors, and a 3.2 mm audio jack. Lenovo offers the new E15 with two display variants, a TN and an IPS panel. We recommend skipping the former as the IPS panel offers much better viewing angles, a peak brightness of 342 nits and a decent contrast ratio. In a creator aspect, it falls flat on its face with about 50% sRGB coverage and poor accuracy. However, we never expected it to do any of these things. What is more important is the zero PWM usage, making the panel safe for prolonged use. The 57Wh battery pack on the inside gets decent results with the Core i7-1255U, lasting for 11 hours and 15 minutes of web browsing, or 7 hours and 25 minutes of video playback. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome! The Alder Lake U-Series and P-Series provide a great platform for productivity and office work. So far, we have tested only two laptops with the Core i7-1255U and in both 2D and 3D rendering, the MSI Modern 15 is ahead of the ThinkPad. On the other hand, the iGPUs inside them perform largely the same. The cooling solution is very simple, with two heat pipes and a single fan. The CPU proves to lack stability, dropping clock speeds and wattage like crazy. At the 15-minute mark, the Core i7 has a 2.15 GHz P-Core clock and a 1.57 GHz E-Core clock, while both run at 70 degrees Celsius. You should probably stick to U-series CPUs, as the setup might not have the capacity to keep up with the P-series chip. The laptop is comfortable to use, not heating up its exterior to a point of being too warm, while the single fan on the inside remains relatively quiet. The laptop sacrifices some upgradability, offering 8GB of soldered RAM along with a single SATIM slot for up to 32GB of DDR4 memory. For storage, we see two M.2 PCIe X4 slots, but only the one on the right supports the super-fast Gen 4 drives. Intel is saving a lot of notebooks in 2022 with their Alder Lake processors, with the hardware upgrade improving the performance significantly. There are noticeable budget cuts like the I.O. and the display selection, but you always have to make sacrifices with budget options. If you want to see more tests and details about the device, you can check out our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.